Anchors are one of the most important parts of the ship. Ever since ancient times, people used anchors to stop their boats in water. But have you ever wondered how they work? Many believe it hooks onto the sea floor, but what if the stone holding it together breaks apart? And how does a 110 kilogram anchor hold down a 9 ton boat? On media, we often see anchors looking like this. Now, after science understood how physics works better, they look more like this. Or like that. As well as a million other designs. Anchors get deployed during the windlass. And now, we will see our crew member doing just that. When the boat anchors, it gets laid something like this. When the anchor hits the sea bed, it digs into the soil. The boat pulls back when anchoring, spraying the chain and digging the anchor deeper into the sand. The chain is as important as the anchor. Not only does it hold additional weight, it also digs into the sand as it gets laid out, holding the boat through friction. This is why it's important for it to not be heaved together. The greater the mass, the greater the friction power. And the greater the surface area, the greater the mass. The yacht always points the same way as the wind. No matter what way the wind is blowing, the anchor will hold it. The curve is important too. The gravitational force keeps the chain horizontal and makes it as resistant to the wind and waves. Imagine that the end of the rope is the anchor, and this is the part of the chain that is laying on the sheet bed. Now, when the wind is blowing, the curve here straightens out and the anchor cannot move. However, when we want the anchor to back out, we slowly move towards it and we free the chain from the sheet bed. Until finally, we approach the anchor and then it can be pulled out. Next time you're on the boat, remember, there's a whole system just to keep the boat from moving.